welcome back. I'm Tedward, and today, thanks to Boston Motorsports in Brighton, Massachusetts, we're driving a 2021 Land Rover Range Rover Autobiography 50th Anniversary Edition, or the 50. It says 50 all over the car, and it is one of 1970 built in honor of the introduction of the Range Rover in 1970. This one is outfitted in Bahama gold, and it is tinted very dark. This is definitely like I can barely see the police lights behind me dark when we're driving, so hopefully we don't accidentally run from the cops today. But we've got all the power we need to do it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. But we do have a five liter supercharged V8 with 518 horsepower, although they do like to call it the P525. It's actually 518. We'll forgive them for that because it's plenty potent. And on this incredible air suspension, this is a luxury experience that will get you down the road swiftly, but also you're not gonna feel anything. I think even though this at an MSRP when it was new last year at $172,000 is still a bizarre bargain because I don't know how to get this kind of luxury and demeanor outside of the realm of Rolls Royce and Bentley. And Range Rovers seem to hit the mark really well by making a normal, I know that's insane, but like it's kind of a normal car. You, you've got money. It's a very usable thing. You daily drive it. You bring the kids to practice. This. You go off roading if you want. You go up to the New Hampshire or Vermont house or wherever, or probably Tahoe. You got money, guys. You know, you're doing that LA to Tahoe thing. But this thing is just so enjoyable to drive. And in a cool color, it's got presence. So we're on these monster 22 inch wheels, 275s in the front and in the rear. Now it's based off an autobiography. So you basically get all the cool autobiography things, including the heated and cooled front seats and rear seats. The rears are heated and cooled, but even better, the stone massage feature. That's the button I'm gonna have engaged most of today. So I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can about the driving experience, but just know that I'm getting a sweet massage while we're doing it in the back man look at these screens i know some people don't really love like a tacked on screen it's not the most impressive thing in the world but that's a pretty big screen and it's kind of nice we still have you know our film here this looks good we have a killer meridian sound system in this thing it sounds unreal this is pure luxury but at the same time the car is just ultra usable so you do get the luxuries of a cool expensive luxury car look at this remote with the land rover livery on it gotta love it and these seats in the rear yeah they recline they're heated they're cooled we've got our our hvac controls back here everything is just so nice and up front because it's a range rover you have to have your armrest. I love a captain's chair with an armrest. And in each of the headrests, we've got the 50 inscription in the leather, but that 50 might as well stand for 50 Shades of Grey edition because there is so much damn leather in this thing. The entire headliner, even these handles. And man, I just, oh, this thing is good to be in. Sorry, I know we drove a Polestar 2 the other day with a vegan interior. A lot of cows died for this one. We've got soft closed doors. And if you really want to get dorky about insignias, this is something I really dig about Land Rovers. They always put this in that chassis, in the frame. It's so cool. I love this glass sunroof. It has a shade, so you can bring that back, but we're going to leave that open today for the sake of light. But easily, my favorite thing about a real Range Rover is a split hatch. This makes life so much easier if you're doing car-to-car -car filming. Maybe that's not a practical thing in your normal life, but for me, I always appreciate it. And man, oh man, do we have a lot of room back here. You can do all the things with this. We've got a charging place where you can, you know, you can plug in like normal stuff. So even if you're glamping and you want to plug in your hair dryer, you're good to go. Or if you're out getting muddy and disgusting and you need a proper compressor, you're good to go there. And it's kind of cool that this is completely motorized. Like I don't even have to be bothered closing the split hatch. 
real quick under the hood i love the hoods of these cars because it just takes up all this real estate it's kind of fun and then we're greeted with our familiar supercharged five liter v8 kind of a dinosaur but a dinosaur that i like to have around because this is not going to last for long if you want to get in on the action with a big land rover v8 i feel like we got to act now this, this is gonna go electric at some point right i mean i don't know what the announcements are but if I had to place my bets, if you want this power plant, you're going to have to start thinking about making a purchase. Pretty familiar territory up here. Touch screens, but just enough of the knobs and things to make life a little easier because you want to be able to cut that music when you want to. But we do have our push to start here. Our gear selector rises out of the console. We've got our Range Rover 50 badge, one of 1,970. And then of course our off-road controls and things. But today we're gonna be testing on road. Let's press our stone massage seat. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Knock it into drive and away we go. Let's get it out and see how it gets off to 60 miles an hour because although it's unbelievably luxurious, it's still quick in a straight line. We're in sport mode. Of course, our auto start stop. I'm gonna lift out the brake. We're just gonna mat it. comes fast enough this isn't going to shock you and frankly even in the Range Rover Sport the SVR even they're never staggeringly fast they're quick they are plenty quick and especially for a vehicle that weighs like 52 5300 pounds this will do the job and I love this engine I love the power band there's just torque instantly you're not waiting for turbo pressure to build up like some other engines you know having a supercharger gives you that power and torque right on demand, right on tap. You never wait for it. You know, it's funny. I'm slowing down for this as if I'm in, in, a, in a Porsche or some sort of sports car, but the reality is you can kind of tackle roads very aggressively in these things. Of course, we want to be nice to runners and people. We don't want to be too monstrous, but you don't have to worry about bumps and potholes and things. Despite the 22 inch wheels, this still, still is quite smooth. kind of a silent killer too like there's a grunt from this engine but it isn't violent it's kind of that Rolls Royce Bentley philosophy where like yeah we've got to have the power we've got to have the torque but it's in the background you know the SVR is barking mad the sports even a bit barking mad this car takes it down a notch because this power plant is designed to get the job done, not to be the centerpiece of the table. You know, it's just, it's just in the background. I usually slow down a lot for that bump don't have to do it in this thing this is kind of the last of the season of winter I mean it is officially spring at this point but the roads have not been patched there's still some salt out here and a big body SUV is kind of the vibe right now steering is so light I'm not going to say it's tactile, like I know what's going on for the most part, but there's definitely like an engineered disconnect between driver and road in this vehicle because I think that's the goal. I think they want you to feel like you're separated, like you are in your own cocoon. So you do have to pay a little bit of an attention to it. say it's a little shocking like 
you get into the pedal and you're like, wow, this is really gonna go. Like that is so responsive. I think I hesitated a second back there because I was like, oh, there's no way it's gonna take that. And it just takes it. You get in that throttle, there's so much left in it. It's hysterical and there's like kind of a good amount of grip. I mean, this is quite entertaining. There's a lot of like Save the Princess vibes built into this thing where I know that it is a luxury thing, but I also have this vibe that I can completely thrash it and just get away with it. Like the car is not going to roll over on me. It's not going to get away from me. I can actually push it in a corner like a, like a sporty thing, which is so odd. But you still have to respect the weight. But we've got to give credit where credit's due that this thing can boogie the way it does. We've got the green, look at us go. And then we get out to the back roads. Ooh, oh yeah, no one's the wiser. Just chilling, vibing, everyone just seeing this Bahama gold. I gotta say, if you had one of those like yellow P38s and this, that's the ultimate Range Rover two car solution. So how about touch points? Steering wheel, we've got sort of a, I guess it's plasticky, but I think it's supposed to be wood grain. It probably is wood and it's just a lot of lacquer, but leather, wood, heated steering wheel that heats up really quickly. I mean, uh, this is New England. A quick heated steering wheel is a necessary thing. Now, I don't own anything with that because I am not wealthy enough, but if you are, that's going to get your hands nice and toasty. You do not need to drive your Range Rover 50 with mittens. And you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of touch screens and stuff, but I do appreciate the fact... Oh, check out the plane. That's very cool. I do appreciate the fact that we've got knobs for our HVAC controls that I can just hit like this, and then I can push that knob, and then that gives me my heated and cooled seat options, which is great. So, you know, they make a they make a point of still giving you some tactile feedback when you need it. Now I've got my cooled seats because I'm quite warm and cozy. I'm gonna pop on my massage again. Oh, this is a good place to be. I feel like I always drive this car like a little underhanded because it does feel like I'm driving a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. There's that vibe to it. I'm not in a rush. I like that this engine has like juicy torque down low because I don't need to dig for it. But when I do want it, I can just bury the throttle and it's going to rev itself out. These Range Rovers are interesting because, you know, they started off as sort of a, a farm, a British farm vehicle that could get you around in style and class and, and just overcome obstacles. And I don't mean that like metaphorically. I mean like literal obstacles. That's his job. It's a Land Rover. It's a Range Rover. It's become this l staple in the luxury market. And yet it hasn't lost its ability to do that farm vehicle thing, which I think is really fun, which is why I like kind of taking it out onto these little back roads. And it's great because, you know, 90s Range Rovers don't feel quite at home doing this and it's so impressive that we're at the point now where you can take a vehicle that's this capable and still make it a driver still make it something that can like eat a corner and get out of the hole really quickly with a supercharged V8 and I don't want to forget about the brakes too because this is a, a relatively fast vehicle and the brakes give you a lot of confidence to bring it back down and even the bite like the way that brake pedal engages is just really lovely and, and, and confidence inspiring. And that's what you want, especially in a heavy vehicle. Don't like getting in a big SUV that makes me nervous to bring it back down from speed, especially if it's got like 500 horsepower. Let's get it out to the highway, see how well insulated this is because of course, we're gonna have that dual pane glass, right? That's what we wanna see. Got plenty of power. To merge into traffic. Now, I just bought myself a Honda Civic Si. I would have to wring its neck to get anywhere close to that. I've actually had to like recalibrate my merging style because, <laughs> because I bought that car. But in this, 
no worries. Just go. All right. 70 miles an hour. Oh, it's so quiet. Oh, and they're doing God's work over here, getting the salt and grime off the shoulder. We love that. I mean, I genuinely just couldn't be happier. I've got a massage seat. I've got a cooled seat. I've got insulated windows. I've got peace and quiet. Life is all right. I've got the little bit of a rumble of a V8 behind the scenes, and if I need the power, it's right there. Don't worry, I'm not trying to race you. This has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Which, I think that's the motto of this thing. This has nothing to do with you. This is for me. This is great. Seats are not that supportive. Like, I do find it kind of entertaining. Because, like, look, I'll chuck it into a corner a little bit. I kind of just fall out, and that's, like, not a big deal. Just because, you know, I've got my armrest. I can grab onto something. I'm just hanging on to the steering wheel. But because the steering, it's, like, a little loosey-goosey. I mean, it's, it's tight, but I don't, like, you know, I don't have to put much effort into it. I kind of just, like, input and then fall away. And I find that really entertaining. It's kind of like when I was a teenager driving like Crown Victorias. I love chucking a Crown Victoria into a corner and you just kind of use your finger, put it into the corner and, and you know, you end up where you end up. As long as you can hang onto that steering wheel just enough and you don't lose your footing on that throttle, you're good to go. mildly horrified at the fuel consumption that I'm probably enduring right now, but that's fine. So guys, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go kind of relax in traffic, listen to some music on this killer Meridian sound system. By the way, it just blows my mind how much you get. I mean, look, I get it. This is an expensive vehicle. We're still talking about like $170,000, $175,000. But I got to say, for the luxury, the ride quality, the off-road capability, the usability... And not having something that's so ostentatious that you can't park it anywhere. Like, you know, you park a, a Bentayga, or it's not really a Bentayga, but like a Cullinan somewhere. You, you look a little like a wiener. This gives you a little more class. You have taste. You're not trying to show off maybe as much. And if I tried to put myself in that tax bracket in my imagination, this seems like a bargain. So thank you so much to Boston Motorsports for the opportunity to drive a limited edition Range Rover 50 edition. Don't you forget to respect the drive, and I'll see you in the next one. And maybe, maybe consider how tinted you want to go with your cars. This one might be, this one's a little dark for me. Uh, it's like actually hilarious because it is bright, there is sunshine. Uh, I'm not sure that I could drive this at night. <laughs> this is very dark.